Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. I of course am Paul and today we're on location with our guest artist, Klein. Hello. So today we're going to draw joy from inside out, so come on. Let's get started. Oh. So when planning this video, I asked Miss Klein here what she wanted to draw and she said, I wanted to draw somebody from inside out. So let's start drawing joy. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So in starting our drawing, we're going to start with a circle. Nice and light, nice and loose. Because we want to be able to erase lines later on, right? So, there you that. go, perfect. So now before I do anything, I'm going to throw in my vertical and my horizontal axis lines. You see how they're curved like this? Mm -hmm. It shows us that the character is going to be looking in this direction and it's going to be slightly downward. And this line right here will show us where the eyes go. And you want that? Excellent. That's where I'd put it too. Nice. All right. And before I do anything, I figure out immediately where those eyes are going to go. They're going to rest on this line. And we're going to draw them nice and big. Joy is a very exuberant character. She's very excitable, she's very happy, and those eyes are nice and wide. Isn't that okay. why her name is Joy? So... Yep, very good. I think I need an eraser. Um, no, that's why you've got that. Oh. That's the needed eraser. Uh oh. I thought there's erasers on the back, but there's ones like that. No, 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 those pencils are for suckers. All right, so you've got your eyes in. Now let's just throw in the nose. She's got a little button nose. It's a little upturned like this. So it's by the eyes. Yes. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's kind of centered right here where that cross is, right? But it's three dimensional, so it's off to the side. So like that? Beautiful. Then under that, what I'll do is I'll throw in that big, excitable smile. So I start with the line here and then I'll turn it into like a bowl shape. So line like that and like that. It's looking good. Okay. And then what I will do is I'm just gonna extend that shape out to give her a jawline that tapers right here underneath where the center of the head is. Just like that. All right, looking good. Now, we're gonna figure out her body. So we've got a line, which is called the line of action, and it acts like the character's spinal column. Okay? The thing on your backbone? That's right. That line right down the, the middle of your back. So. so what that'll do is that'll show us the balance for the character, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to give her her signature pose where she has her arms up in the air. So we've got one arm like that, one arm like that. Notice these are just light, rough lines, right? It's just keeping it nice and loose. And then coming down here. And what I'd like to do is I like to draw in a triangle right here. We've got her shoulders. We've got a triangle just like that. Now this right here is going to show us where the waist goes. So. so now check this out. The length from the top of her head to her waist, okay? And I'm bring that down to her waist, and that is how long her legs are. Wow. I know it, like tricky, right? So I'm going to give her a pose like this. Oh. Yeah. Just yep. So now the characters of Inside Out were all designed to resemble certain objects in life. So, um, like we have discussed, you know, discussed, mm -hmm. she is shaped like a broccoli. Oh, she is? Yes. So um, we've got Sadness, who is shaped like a teardrop or a raindrop. Oh, 
No, it's she's an upside down raindrop. Joy is shaped like a star. She, oh yeah. Oh yes. So that's why I, when I do little lessons, I like to put her out in that exuberant pose. Okay. So now let's go back in here and I'm just going to lightly put in little placeholders for her hands. Should we just draw the hands while we're here? Probably. All right. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down in a shape like this. So we've got like a, a mitten shape. And while you're doing that, I'm going to do it over here as well. So like that? Beautiful. Except you're going to want the thumb on the other side. <clears throat> That's why we have an eraser. That's why we have an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hand it over. Hand what over? Money. Money? All right. Now, when I draw the fingers, I remember that this finger usually kind of tucks in a little bit. But the other fingers kind of separate from it. Right? Now we have, in cartoons, depending on the cartoon, we'll either have three or four fingers. So I like to group the ring and the middle finger together, and then I'll tuck the index finger in behind it. And then I'm going to darken this just so you can see what I'm doing here like that. Get the meat part of the thumb in there. So confusing. Um, it doesn't have to be though. Watch this. So we can just kind of split this shape in, in two and then I can split it again in two and then I'll draw in my fingers. You don't have to draw it like that. You can you can separate those fingers And that's why we have erasers. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to draw it like that, oftentimes I will separate the fingers a little bit. Just like that. Give that thumb a nice meaty part in there and you're good to go. Now, hands take a lot of practice. I wasn't good at them when I first started. I was not good. No, I forced myself to fill up whole sketchbooks of nothing but hands. Really? Oh, yes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in, actually I'm going to start with the shoulder. Give her mm, not loving that. It's rough right now. We'll go back to it. So I'm just going to fill in those arm shapes like so. And I know where to put the neck opening for her dress and the top part there and her arm comes out that that way like that so let's continue down to her torso so we've got a back line here like that and we've got her stomach and it comes out here like so then what I like to do is I like to throw in her leg lines here. So we've got, even though you don't see her thighs because she's wearing a dress, you still want to draw them in. That way you know that the position is correct, right? So, find a line like that. And she's kind of on her toes. She's stretching to be as 
tall as she can be, like that. So I'm gonna draw this leg in while you draw in yours, right? I got my upper leg here. Throw a calf in there. So it looks like Joy's dancing, right? She's probably dancing to Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Want to Have Fun, right? I mean, am I right? No? Um, see ya? So now that I've got the legs in, now I know where I can put in the bottom of her dress. Okay, so she's, we want to show some movement, right? So. I'm going to have the dress overlapping, but the lines are going to show that she's kind of moving forward. So the dress is kind of coming back a little bit. It's going to be tight up against the front of her body, and it's going to be flowing a little bit, not much, out the back. So now you know what I'm ready for? I'm going to go into the hair. Oh, gosh. Yes. All right. She looks like Jane Weedland from the Go-Go's. Go-Go's. What? They were a big group in the 80s. Okay, all right, so so we've got this little pixie hairdo going, okay? Pixie hair is hard. Yes. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be. Watch this. So she's got these little tufts of hair that come in the front like this. All right, and let's see. I'm going to give her just a little bit of body to her hair, just like that. So you get these tufts and they all act like individual little areas of hair. Sure. Keep it nice and close in on the face. And then you come over over here. Mm-hmm. And then she's got a little bit of bed head. I guess she doesn't have a brush. It's got the cowlick in the back. So like that with her head? Oh, that's looking good, yeah. So they're kind of like shark fin shapes. You know what I mean? like that and just a couple little strands out of place and now I'm yes that's looking good and now I'm ready to go into the eyes to do some finish line so the top line of the eye is always a little thicker than the rest of it do you know why why well we're not drawing in eyelashes so what this is, is this takes the place of the eyelashes. So Joy doesn't have eyelashes. Um, I believe if she does, they're like really, really thin. You don't really see them. So what we do is we draw in that top line to the eye and we just draw it in a little thicker. Okay. And then I'm going to draw in really lightly some circles and I'm only going to darken in the lines on the inside of the eye. I'm going to follow the shape of the eye on the outside here to give her some eyebrow. And I'm going to give some light reflection. And after I give the light reflection, I'm going to give her pupil. I'm just going to shade mine in. Like that? Ah, oh, beautiful. You've done this one before, haven't you? No. No? All right. And there we go. There's Joy. Oh, you know what? Got to throw in. Some little bursts of, I don't know if they're flowers, if they're fireworks. Just a couple. And there we have it.
Guys, thank you so much for drawing with us. I want to thank Klein here for helping us with today's video. If you'd like to draw some other videos with me, I got some right here for you. I want to thank you so much for drawing with us today. And until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll read. No, I don't like that. Okay. <clears throat> no, yours was fine. I didn't like what I did. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that again. But let's let's show some let's show some energy, and look at the camera. All right? Or should we do it from here? Or there? Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Okay. All right. Ready? Oh. <laughs>